President Biden's new immigration plan goes into effect today that allows migrants seeking asylum to wait in the U.S. That rolls back the Trump administration's remain in Mexico policy. ABC 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle is live at the West Port of Entry in San Ysidro. And Cassie, I understand you saw consulate officials coming in there this morning. Right, good morning, Virginia. We've been waiting out here for hours and we did see a couple SUVs enter the facility that did have U.S. consulate plates. We also saw a large black bus with tinted windows leave the facility around 945. We cannot confirm at this point, but we do believe that those migrants, that first batch, were on the bus. A huge relief to all those on board. Some have waited in Mexico for years for this opportunity. Vanessa Garcia is from Honduras, and she said she's been living in a hostel in Tijuana with a three-year-old son. She said, we've been waiting for a long time for a response. Quite a long time, we've been patiently waiting. The answer coming from the Biden administration, rolling out a new plan cutting down the Trump administration's Migrant Protection Protocol, or MPP. The policy enacted out of fear migrants released into the U.S. weren't attending their court date. Syracuse University analyzed data from the Department of Justice and found that 76 percent of asylum seeking families at the border attended all of their hearings and families that had a lawyer to help navigate the process was even higher at 99 percent. Biden's policy started with 25 migrants coming through the San Ysidro port of entry, according to the executive director of Border Angels, a nonprofit immigrant advocacy group. Once the program is up and running, two Texas port of entries will also be added, each port of entry processing about 300 migrants a day, according to officials, giving hope to those fearful for their lives like Noemi. Saying, I came here with my four children, and the truth is we can't go back to Guatemala because if we do, I'm afraid they will kill me and my children. Once here in the U.S., advocacy groups say that those migrants will most likely be placed in locations outside of San Diego. Reporting live here in San Ysidro, Casa Carleo, ABC 10 News.